May the light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and our minds. Thanks be to God. Exalt with them, exalt. Let the trumpet of salvation sound aloud, sound aloud our mighty King's triumph. Christ our light is risen, Christ our light is risen. Be glad, let earth be glad, as glory floods her, a blaze with light from her. Eternal King, let all corners of the earth be glad. Knowing an end to gloom and darkness, Christ our light is risen. Christ our light is risen. Rejoice, let Mother Church also rejoice. A with the lightning of his glory. Let this holy building shake with joy, filled with the mighty voices of the peoples. The Lord 
Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just with ardent love of mind and heart and with devoted service of our voice to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty Father and Jesus Christ our Lord, His Son, His only begotten. Christ our light is risen, Christ our light is risen. Who for our sake paid Adam's debt to the eternal Father and pouring out his own dear blood wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. Christ our light is risen. Christ our light is risen. These then are the feasts of Passover, in which is slain the Lamb, the one true Lamb, whose blood anoints the doorposts of believers. This is the night when once you led our forebears, Israel.
Christ our light is risen. Christ our light is risen. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray you that this candle, hallowed to the honor of your name, may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Christ our light is risen. Christ our light is risen. Receive it as a plea. sisters and brothers, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the word of God. Let us meditate on how God in past times saved his people, and in these, the last days, has sent us his Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air and the cattle, and over all the wild animals and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made and found it very good. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. to God. The earth is full of the goodness of God. The good 
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, may those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward. And you, lift up your staff and with hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two that the Israelites may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army and chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The angel of God who had been leading Israel's camp now moved and went around behind them. The column of cloud also, leaving the front, took up its place behind them so that it came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel. But the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed without the rival camps coming any closer all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night so that it turned into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea on dry land with the water like a wall to their right and left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptian force a glance that threw it into a panic. So he clogged their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on toward the sea when the Lord hurled into them its mist as the water flowed back. It covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped. But the Israelites had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in him and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord, I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in splendor even in our day, for what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand, now you bring about is the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth. Grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham, and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen, that you may have life. I will renew you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. As I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations, so shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that knew you not shall run to you because of the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. My soul is thirsty. My soul. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, sole hope of our world, who by the preaching of your prophets unveil the mysteries of this present age, graciously increase the longing of your people, for only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful progress in any kind of virtue. Through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. Amen. God, who make this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption so that renewed in body and mind we may render you undivided service through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in the newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in his resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as being dead to sin, 
and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God. Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. At daybreak, on the first day of the week, the women who had come from Galilee with Jesus took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were puzzling over this, behold, two men in dazzling garments appeared to them. They were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. They said to them, Why do you seek the living one among the dead? He is not here, but he has been raised. Remember what he said to you while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and rise on the third day. And they remembered his words. Then they returned from the tomb and announced all these things to the eleven and to all the others. The women were Mary Magdalene, Johanna, and Mary, the mother of James. The others who accompanied them also told this to the apostles, but their story seemed like nonsense, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, bent down, and saw the burial cloths alone, Then he went home, amazed at what happened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. During the past several weeks, and especially this one, Holy Week, I found myself gazing at the Franciscan cross that hangs in the entrance of our rectory. And I heard within the recesses of my own heart the words of St. Francis part of his prayer before that crucifix. Cast your light into our darkness. Praying that Jesus, the crucified one, would show us the path through our present day difficulties. 
our present day difficulties with its various manifestations that has turned our customary patterns, our securities, and our familiarities absolutely upside down. And so we come tonight. We come together in this church, around this table, in the sacredness of our own homes, to begin our Easter vigil and our Easter season. Focus on this light of Christ that pierces our darkness. Just as it pierced the darkness of the first disciples who lost their friend to a horrible death. Like us, they too knew about the darkness of uncertainty, confusion, and fear. And even though they did not understand at first about the resurrection, as we heard in our gospel reading this evening, they stayed together. They shared their doubts. They questioned. They prayed. And they remained open. And what was at once difficult for them to understand, slowly and gradually became clearer. I pray and encourage all who gather with us this evening to do like the first disciples, to stay together with the bonds of faith. Through the waters of baptism, we have become one family of God, sisters and brothers to one another. Hold firm to that belief. May we share our own doubts and our questions with those whom we trust. May we pray and remain open to become clearer in our understanding of what the resurrection and Easter means for us this year as we are separated from one another. I believe that the resurrection of Jesus showed that God has the power to change our darkest moments. That the resurrection reveals that there is a new life in store for us who trust. The resurrection of Jesus reveals that God is greater than our own thinking and imagination of what he can do. The resurrection shows that no sin is unforgiven. No door is closed forever. That each day is a new beginning. Tonight and throughout the Easter season, I ask all to trust your faith, to trust your belief in the resurrection, to cling to it, and not to be hesitant to go deeper into your faith, to find and touch that trust, that trust that we have in God, that he never, ever gives up on us. For together with our God, all darkness will be made holy. New life will continue to abound because Christ, our brother and savior, is risen. Christ is alive. And he is with us each step of the way. Alleluia, my friends.
the Lord is risen as he said. And he offers to us life beyond our imagination. May we never lose this hope and this belief in the risen Lord. For the one thing I do know is that our God is faithful to his word. All of us, in the privacy of our own homes, now have an opportunity to renew our own baptismal promises. Dear sisters and brothers, through this Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Jesus Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in the newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, may we renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and all of Satan's works, and we promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask all of us to respond enthusiastically, I do, to the following questions. Do you reject and renounce Satan? I do. I do. And all of Satan's works? I do. I do. And all of Satan's empty promises. I, I do. do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I, I do. do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I do. I do. This is our faith, and we are proud to profess it. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us the forgiveness of our sins, Keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Amen. On this sacred day of days, let us pray that the resurrection of Jesus Christ will touch, heal, and strengthen all who are in need. Our response is, risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church of God gathered in Easter joy throughout the world that even in times of sin and disappointment we will never forget the central truths of our faith celebrated this day. We pray to the Lord. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all entrusted with leading the world's nations that peace will reign in their mind and hearts. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially all who are in our hospitals, hospice, and nursing homes, those with chronic illnesses, and those with coronavirus, may they know the healing power emanating from the cross of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the doctors, nurses, hospital personnel, first responders, all of those who are assisting us in this time of need, that they may be blessed with God's strength and protection. We pray to the Lord. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. For all who are understandably saddled with anxiety, sadness, and fear, 
that the peace of the Lord may settle their minds and hearts, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may rejoice in the reward of everlasting life, especially for the parishioners and families of our parish, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Your people cry out to you, O God of wonder and life. Hear our prayer. Strengthen our Easter faith. We ask this in the name of your Son, the one who suffered, died, and rose from the dead. For he is the Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name and for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may, by the working of your power, bring us to the healing of eternity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, them to, up the Lord. to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this night above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy and to be glorified, O God. 
who loves our human race and who always walks with us on the journey of life. Bless indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and he breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of his last supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, he gave you thanks, and he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son. Confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, Matthew, our Bishop Emeritus, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and their pain, their joy and their hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember all of our sisters and our brothers who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ. All the dead whose faith you alone have known, Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in communion with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and the martyrs, Charles Borromeo, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At our Savior's command, formed by his teachings, we dare to pray. Our Lord Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the glory are yours, now and, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this paschal sacrament one in mind and heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> May we bow our heads for this solemn blessing. To each one of these petitions, our common response is amen. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion has drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to the feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. 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 And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on all of us and remain with us forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia. Christ is real. 